And we are live. No, we are not returning to the seas of 1805 because we didn't have enough people from last week. And that was so exciting and so tense. We wanted to make sure we could let those people go back there, especially those who deserve to be humiliated in front of their peers for their foolish errors. I'm looking at you, Bonsai Cat, and Vance. So there. Um, so instead, <laughs> my friend Doug and I, we're going to play a brand new game and we're going to try some brand new tech out. Um, but before I show you, before I reveal what we're going to play, I have to do all the usual things, namely uh, make sure that the YouTube is up and running. There we go. And it is. I have to that. do all the... There it is. We already got two people watching. Are you watching? Uh, no. How, how did, who's camping us? <laughs> They're already Ooh. camping us. Uh, I don't think we're going to get Beat Cafe. He is down at RockCon, down in Rockford, Illinois, and looks like he's having a blast playing with miniatures you can touch, which is pretty cool. Um, so he's over to do that, but uh, there we are. And let's do this. Okay. I am going to have to figure out why it always broadcasts the picture of Katrabra, no matter what I do. But, uh, these technology things continue to baffle me. And certainly not least, we're going to shout out to Brant to say that, yep, there is Armchair Dragoon silliness going on. Cool. Here we are. So instead of, every, like I said, instead of Trafalgar tonight, which we're going to get back to very, very soon, we're going to try out a set of rules that I've, I'm very interested in seeing how they play, but also in some technology from a guy on the Steam forums by the name of Lazy Boy, who I've gotten to chat with a little bit. Um, he, he had a neat idea. He decided to take some simple freeware voxel technology, uh, to borrow my buddy Doug's phrase, uh, it's, it's kind of a whole lot like Minecraft, and uh, turn it into war games. So let's see what he did. He created the Battle of Shiloh. This is a 4x4 in scale. And uh, we have some rough layouts here for the Union and some even and no layout here yet for the Confederates. Uh, Doug, because I've, I am the honorable person and Doug is my guest, I have given him the Union uh, under Sam Grant and I will be taking the Confederates um, who are still yet to be placed on the field. But first, we must learn the rules for this game, Altar of Freedom, which borrows an awful lot from the DBA series, the Debellus Antiquitatis series, but also a little bit from Blucher and a little bit from other things. So we're going to learn these together. I've had a couple goes through them myself, but uh, every unit, and the cool thing is, we've got the rules right here. Um, it goes through figure scale, time scale. Every, the, the most important thing is every unit is a brigade. Okay, and that obviously is borrowed from Blue Curry and any number of other rules that Doug and I have played together. Every unit is assigned to a division, and it is by divisions that units are going to move. Each unit is also labeled with its strength modifier, which is its most important modifier. With me have put all the uh, strength modifiers into the tool tip if you mouse over and hold it. Mm -hmm. However, that's a secret in this game, and it's ungentlemanly to peek at the strength modifier of the unit that is approaching you. In fact, cavalry has a role that lets you peek at it. So I shan't be doing it, and I know Doug won't be doing it. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it in the future, but frankly, by the time I had this all set up, I only then realized that's not a thing you're supposed to do. And now I understand why <laughs> Lazy Boy didn't do it, and I wasn't going to undo it, so there. There is, and I, you know, you gotta, I love the way these rules are written. Uh, real credit to these folks. I was very happy to buy a PDF copy of my very own. 
Um, but tracking casualties, you don't. Moving on. <laughs> it's 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 Hooray. It's, it's DBA. Uh, generals. Generals are very important. Generals have priority points and personality traits. Where do we see these? Well, I'm going to share some of mine because I can't see Doug's. They're a secret. They're over here. I'll show you mine. Doug can look at his. You see that we have these core commanders or generals of the army. In his case, he's got Sam Grant. I've got Albert S. Johnson. He's the overall commander. Underneath him, you have these divisional commanders. Now, Doug, I know this because I set up the game, he's only got Sam Grant. Now, that's not a small matter because Sam Grant's got a whole lot of points, but I've got four divisional commanders, and they've got these priority points. They also have these traits, which I absolutely love. For example, um, my guy, Albert S. Johnston, he's a micromanager. He has to save half base three of all his points for end of term adjustments mm. so he can't he can't just go and spend them he also leads from the front which is a good thing but it can also get him killed so they've got these part they've got these traits and they've got these priority points we'll find out a lot more about priority points in just a second uh, we have infantry and doug has cavalry and we both have artillery i think i do have cavalry in this one come to think of it but I'm certain Doug does. I do, I do. I have some cavalry, so that, that's nice. And they all come on the same size base, which is also nice. We also have one headquarters. Doug, yours is sitting right here. See it there? It's got a nice horse on it. Right here at the far end. Right there. Mm -hmm. That is positioned when you position all your troops, and it does not move for the entire game. It's where your broken units are going to go, and it's sort of your your it's your LOC, your, your uh, line of communication. Your right. Line of, so, and uh, losing it is a bad thing, as you might imagine. We also have in this little baggie fatigue markers. They're right there. Just little red markers that can stack up. That's from firing and such. We'll talk about what those mean, but it's going through our markers. All right, rolling right along. We have set up the, we're going to set up the battlefield. We've assembled our army. As I said, it's all pretty simple stuff. We've got divisions with brigades inside those divisions, and then they have a strength modifier. And that applies for all of them. All right. We all know pretty much how to read an OOB. So what are we going to do each turn? And this is one of the, this, the heart of this system is bidding priority points. Every leader has a certain number of priority points at the divisional level. Now, in Sam Grant's point, he's the guy. He's got 20, again, something I happen to know. But what he's got to do is secretly go into these organizational charts and click on these counters. And, Doug, you'll see yours sitting right above the divisions, mm -hmm. the squares. Yep. You're going to spread out your points between these counters. How high you bid is where they're going to go in the turn. Uh -huh. And not everybody's going to get to move because of the way the clock works. But we'll talk about that in a second. So in my case, I can see that Major... Oh, God, this guy. Major General Leonidas, a really, really unfortunately named guy. He's got a grand <laughs> total of four to split between both his divisions. So it's pretty obvious... But you know that you that and the other thing is because he is classified as inept, his brigades cannot have the same priority unless it is equal to zero. Lovely. Yeah. So, if you bid zero, you don't move. Okay, you're you're saying I'm sitting pat. I'm not maneuvering. You still get to fire, but you don't get to maneuver. Your overall commander, in my case, Johnston, but again, Sam Grant for you, so this doesn't matter as much. Johnston, because he's the overall commander, he can share out his points to any of his sub inferior commanders with no restriction. So he can just pass them out as he likes. He can only give half of his points to any one of his corps to help maneuver his lads. All right. We are then going to also bid for clock control. Skipping ahead in the rules here. 
Oh, and by the way, there is no command radius in this game. Line of sight is not required in this game. How much can you spend? As much as you like. You want to spend it all on one division? You go right ahead. You can also spend points to influence control of the turn clock. Every point you spend gives you a plus one on the control of the clock roll. You may also save a few points for the end when you have opportunities to do some micromanaging. We know how we're going to track it. And we must not forget our, our personality traits since it's full confession of the Southern Incom... Everybody said the South was filled with competent generals. I don't know. Major General Leonidas, he is also unreliable. Every turn he has to roll a d6. If he rolls a 1, he gets no points. <laughs> so that's going to be a hoot. Anyway, we then will roll for the turn clock. We roll a d6, we use those modifiers we might have saved up, and whoever wins, they get the initiative. We re-roll ties, keeping all previous modifiers. The turn clock is this big honking orange 12-sided die right there. And it starts out at 12, and we'll talk about how it works. There it is. We then begin calling out our bids. So let's say we say, you know, what's the highest bid you've got? Well, I'll call mine, you'll call yours, and the highest number gets to go first. Ties go in favor of whoever controls the turn clock. All right. You may have bid the same number of points for multiple divisions, and this is the only way to get multiple divisions to move at once. Your divisions maneuver together, no matter how far apart they are. And there's your movement rates. Generals move a foot, cavalry moves a foot, infantry eight, artillery six, and the HQ stands bloody still. Cavalry screens. I do love the fact that they say, civil, kit, civil or cavalry may not have been as glorious as their Napoleonic counterparts. Yeah, you darn right. But they do have the fastest rate of speed, and they can also scout because if you get within six inches of any of my brigades, you're allowed to peek at my strength modifier. So you know who's coming. Two inches out in front of our units is our Zoc. If you get there, the only thing you can be doing is uh, you have to either shoot me or engage me in close combat. Basically, no slipping around the front. Yep. Other than, if you'll notice here, moving away. Rough ground. Every unit will t every different scenario will tell us what rough ground is, but rough ground is a four inch penalty. You only pay it once, and if, if any part touches it. There's also reserve movement, just like there is in Blucher. Um, you can move up to 20 inches using reserve movement, but you must have two or more brigades in the same division touching each other. Road column. They have to begin on and stay on the road. And you can't get to within 10 inches of my units, regardless of line of sight. Mm -hmm. Just like Blucher. Different measurements, but sure. We are not allowed to build defensive works at the Shiloh battlefield. You'll see that, so we won't worry about that. Skipping ahead. Shooting. I like this. It's closer than you think. The argument of Ultra Freedom is that despite the extended ranges that you see with the rifled guns, the rifled muskets of the Civil War period, or the rifles of the Civil War period, the actual effective range actually doesn't change that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as a consequence, line of sight, by the way, inside of a woods is two inches. The arc works as, you know, you draw that corner-to-corner -corner arc. To, so it's that 45 degrees out the front. Mm -hmm. actually. It's the uh, it's actually the 90 degrees out the front. 245, 45 to the left, 45 to the right. Pour on the hot lead. Here's the interesting bit. When we get to the fire phase, after all the brigades of a division finish movement, firing commences. The defender fires first. I love that. And it, by the way, that, by the way, in con defensive fire can still occur even if the brigade in the maneuvering division elects not to move. Then the maneuvering division fires. No combining a firefight. No, you can't fire into a firefight or into a close combat. You may not combine firefight or a firepower. It's 1d6. Infantry is up to 2 inches. 
artillery, 10 inches. Within 2 inches, that's canister. And there's your chart, right down here. You will notice it's really, really hard to kill things with small arms fire. Mm -hmm. You can make things recoil. A base depth is 1 in, 1 1.25 inches, so a recoil of two base depths is 2.5. A recoil of three is 3.75, or I figure 3.8, because we don't have half. We don't have that right. granularity with our rulers. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, and then broken. When a unit is broken, you have to send it back to your HQ, and it sits there. It, is, it will have a chance to rally, but it has no Zoc. It has, it's not there. You can't melee it. You can't mm -hmm. touch it. It's just there. If your HQ is overrun, it goes away entirely. Everything goes with it. Here's your modifiers for fire. Cover is defined per scenario. Enfilade requires you to be 100% behind that front line of the, of the base. Not too surprising. And artillery fire at two inches or less is horrific, as you might expect. Mm-hmm. There's all of our modifiers. Fatigue is a minus one period. It doesn't matter how many fatigues you got. It's just a minus one. Enfilade is as we discussed. Artillery may interrupt. It's the only thing that can, and it's intended to reward commanders who pay attention to their ground. If the fire is ineffective, the maneuvering unit... So basically, you get to stop me in mid-move. Right. Which makes perfect sense, because if I'm wandering around in front of your guns, I deserve to be shot at. Mm -hmm. And if you recoil me, it uh, you, you cannot interrupt with canister. I don't even know what that looks like. Um, <laughs> if you fire, if you fire at an enemy artillery unit, that's counter battery, and the desire is to silence. If you force me to recoil with your guns, I'm silenced. So I recoil and I turn away from you, meaning I don't mm -hmm. get I don't get to fire again. And I'm also, by the way, flanked and filotted or flanked if you should manage to follow up and attack me. Right. We talked about recoiling. You can pass through, you can and you can also displace. So it's up to you. Uh yeah, that's it. And it's directly away from the thing that caused it, not a surprise. This talks about what broken brigades do. You go all the way back. Advancing into close combat. This is... I, uh, I really, really approve of the way they did this. They um, do this. This chart. These, gra these pictures. This shows you how it works. And how you square off and what you do. It's pretty logical stuff. Um, it's straight in and squaring off if you've got more than half. So, for example, take example two. These attackers have staggered. Combat here is resolved exactly as one. So you've got half here and half here. So this is going to be one-to-one, one-to-one. Right? Whereas example three, the attackers made contact with just a corner of a base. Mm -hmm. Only two of the four are engaged. This one over here and this one over here ain't fighting. So you just head in like that. And there you've got, uh, and this is a good example, obviously, of an enfilade. How do we resolve it? You'll notice they are resolved in whatever the attacker chooses. They are not simultaneous. This is where they get it from DBA. Both sides roll a D6 and add appropriate modifiers. If multiple attackers contact an enemy defender, only one attacker should be nominated as the primary. The others are support. Combat is always 1v1. This is exactly like DBA and its, and its derivatives. Um, brigades in combat receive a support bonus if friendly, otherwise unengaged units. Makes sense. You got to have a, you know, if it's engaged, it can't help. Generals do count as a supporting unit. HQ elements do not. Uh, I think sport's pretty straightforward. And there are your charts. You'll notice each fatigue marker affects 
your combat in, in and they point out at this scale this isn't just guys stabbing each other this is close range fire this is you know this is this is up close stuff recoiling same stuff and notice this paragraph if the situation is complex the unit you the losing unit should recoil away from the primary attacker it must mm -hmm. recoil within its rear arc i think that makes sense this rule exists to prevent players from retreating at implausible angles <laughs> i like that <laughs> If you get more than four fatigue, you are broken. All fatigue markers are removed at the end of each turn. I, I missed that when I played a demo game. If the fatigue brigade is at least Correct. 10 inches away. Right. If you get out of trouble. Yep. I like that. Supporting units do not share in an advance. You may advance. You may also do a new combat. And you'll notice it's required. It was not unusual for artillery and cavalry to withdraw. Defending artillery and cavalry may attempt to evade. If the cavalry is the attacker, they may not do so. Attempting a fighting withdrawal is not without risk. As soon as it's made, the defender must declare you're trying to evade. On a roll of 2 to 5, on a 1d6, you evade. On a roll of six, on a roll of one, I should say, the defending unit fails and now fights at a minus one. If on a roll of six, the defending unit stubbornly refuses to obey your orders, displaying conspicuous valor and gets a bonus. <laughs> and they are broken if they go more than two base steps. Don't let your HQ be, be melee. Just don't do it. Because you lose automatically. This is a big deal, and I love this rule too. Generals can enter close combat with the enemy. Anytime your general is contacted by the enemy, the general must immediately roll on the fate table. The odds are not in his favor. And there's the... Uh, there's the odds. I do like the fact that six is they couldn't hit an elephant. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the division with the higher pro after the division with the highest priority maneuvers, players call out their next highest bid. But before a new bid is reached, the opposing commanders each roll a d6. The player with initiative who controls the turn clock selects one of these two results and takes that much time off the clock. Okay. So if I roll a six and you don't want a six, or maybe you do, right? I like that. It means it's pretty variable. It's an obvious advantage, and it's the ability to end a turn as quickly mm -hmm. as you can. So there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. The turn can the turn can end for only two reasons. Turn clock expires, or all divisions with a priority rating above zero maneuver. End of turn. We move generals. We get a free facing adjustment. We spend save points, rally broken brigades, recover fatigue, and replace fallen generals. Each one of which is here. Generals are generals get to move during the turn, but they also get a free move as part of this sequence. So they get a, essentially a double move. All units are allowed to make a free-facing adjustment, which I rather like. Not allowed if you're in Zoc. And this rule here, I'm very curious to see how this plays with an opponent. I know how it worked when I was trying to play against myself. A general with save priority points can spend a single point to move a single brigade within six inches and line of sight. It's whoever it is. You just grab, basically, you're grabbing this guy and saying, go over mm -hmm. there. No, re no reserve movement, and you may not come within two inches of an enemy. And you can only move once. You don't get to rally artillery. 
brigades that failed to rally are removed from play. And there's your chart. Keep your general near. If it rallies, you're within four inches of an HQ. Unfortunately, if your HQ is well behind the lines, they're probably far away from the division. Yes, I think that's the point. Recover fatigue, like you said, 10 inches away. Replacing fallen generals, no personality traits and half the priority points, great. And how much do you love them? The McClellan. I do, <laughs> I do. <laughs> If <laughs> <clears throat> when disputes or questions arise, discuss the circumstances, come to a gentlemanly agreement. If necessary, flip a coin. If you need to revise a rule or even create a new one, go right ahead. It is because, according to George, I know full well the capacity of the generals opposed to me for by singular chance. They were once my most intimate friends. One of the few things that man has ever said that I actually like a lot. <laughs> right. So we do have army breakpoints. And we'll go over those <coughs> in this scenario. Each broken brigade and each HQ element count towards your breakpoint. We won't have a night time. It's a short scenario. And there's Sam Grant. Look at that. That's it. Let's talk about the scenario. Do, 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 do. I think we all know the story. It is a small scenario. 11 turns. Each turn is one hour. Uh, you will win if you break my army or hold on to Pittsburgh's landing, which is right down here. It even says so. I win if I take Pittsburgh landing or break you. Surprise attack. This is probably your only problem. You to arrive much earlier in the day. But Wallace gets lost in the woods and doesn't arrive until dusk. Starting at the end of the 2 p.m. turn, you may roll a d6 to see if he shows up. On a roll of 6, he appears at the end of the turn. This roll may be attempted at the end of each turn thereafter. You also had two gunboats, the Lexington and the Tyler. It's sitting out there in the river. The boat may be maneuvered once per turn at any time without priority points. It moves four inches, and God, I hate this, and may fire as standard artillery, except line of sight is not required. Historically, it was lobbed indirect, indirectly, and it caused much consternation amongst the Confederates. No field works. All woods and streams are rough going. Owl Creek and Lick Creek may only be crossed at the bridges. Defending the sunken road is a plus one, Farmsteads and buildings, no effect. You have an unattached brigade series over by you. I put them off table. Mm -hmm. You may assign them to a division during deployment or unattached. If they are unattached, they can only be maneuvered by spending individual priority points at the end of each turn. So I figure if you decide to attach them, you can just change their base color. Because that's what the, right. the highlighting is. There it is. Deployment notes. You deploy first A through D, 1 through 3. One in your divisions must deploy at Pittsburgh Landing. And only one division may be deployed in a grid sector. So, A through D, 1 through 3. We'll take a look at the picture in a second. However, at 7 a.m., you appear at Pittsburgh Landing. I think that's turn 1. I believe it is. Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. You, you show up at Pittsburgh Landing on turn one. So you're, you're right there. Three o'clock onward, we do the Lou Wallace thing. I am in AC through four. Breckenridge and... Let's see. To arrive at the end of the turn, do not require priority. Breckenridge and his division come from A4. And I think that's it. Yeah. So A through D, one through three, basically means you get the whole run of the map. Other than this bottom part down here. So if you look at it, it's this is Lick Creek down here. Mm -hmm. So basically, as I draw the line, that is all you. Everything in that area. 
and you got to put one division per grid square. Okay. We're trying to figure out. I see Lee Wallace's guys, but where did those? And I saw them earlier. Where did the detached brigade go? Are they not? Whose lads are those? And that's Wood. Okay, let me take a peek. They are. Let's look at. We got the OB here. I think that's the detached. It, yeah, it's Wood and Mar it's Wood and the Markgraf artillery. That's them right here. Yep, I did. Yep. Oh, okay. I put them right near your walk on. So, wherever mm -hmm. you wanted to put them. All right. See if anybody's joined us or if we're just hanging out, which is cool too. Oh, we got. Whoa. Uh, Holy cow! Let me uh, let me try to catch up just a little bit. Number one uh, to Bishop Coctus, absolutely. Um, go on over to armchairdragoons.com. Go to the forums, sign up in the forums, say hi. This is the Saturday Night Fights, and I we've got an organizational forum right there. Always welcome to play. We love to have new players. That would be awesome. Hello, Hasdrubal. What? What tuna? What? Uh, hi, Hasdrubal. It's good to see you. Hey, hey, Red Sax. Um, and yes, Mirth was supposed to be here, so we're calling him out. Uh, he has no honor, but I think he would acknowledge that. He has no honor. It's true. So instead, we're just going to play the Battle of Shiloh without him and tell him how much awesome fun it was. I love the fact that dude made smog. <laughs> so I guess it just falls to you to set up as you would like. Yeah, I'm uh, going through it right now. Sure thing. I suppose I could be thinking. So it's what it's one through three. So nothing, nothing in the four row. Is that right? I thought you. I thought you had. Right. Oh, is that right? I thought you had them all because you've got to go over to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One through three. It's A through D. One through three. So you've got this right. way left to right. You got everything, and then you've just got this bottom part you can't be in. Right. So there's there's four sectors or four grid squares across yep, yep. the table. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, I gotta find out from Lazy Boy why it is he built these. This we figure these are like cherry trees right here. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember about the battlefield whether Are there cherry trees there? Or was he just goofing around because and, and just so you all know, in case I, I don't have a chance to mention it again, I'm obviously going to post this link to the, the Shiloh thing on Tabletop Simulator. But this is one guy who designed all the units and built all the voxel trees and the voxel terrain uh, using a freeware program. And he just decided to turn it to the use of Wargamers, which I just... I love this more than I can say. He's And of course, because I am that way, I'm forcing him to... Not forcing, I am coercing him into doing the Polyonics. Because polyonics are better, even than these cool things. But just look how cool these are. Let's face it, we're playing with toy soldiers, and anybody who thinks we're not should stop. That's right, uh, Tuna's asking, and yeah, this is one mod. This is a rather remarkable thing. It's actually in pieces. The trees are a di are single pieces, but if you take it down, he builds the terrain first, and then he, he sculpts it using the voxel technology, and then he paints on it, I think. I've, I've asked him how he does this. And then he paints on it, mapping it over to the Altar of Freedom game. And then he goes in and builds these lovely little units. He, um, I, I praised him on Steam, and I said, hey, you know, Napoleonics, and the next thing I know, he sends me a picture of a fully re rendered Napoleonic French Fusilier using the same look. I went, yeah, that, that'd be fine. I would like that. <laughs> I, I would certainly accept. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, are you? Let's see, who is it that I get last? Who is it that I get last? That's right, Breckenridge. He don't come on for a while. 
That's the other thing that sucks. I gotta have every all of my guys get an HQ. I don't know if it's better or worse for you that you only have the one. All right, you luckless gits. Let's get out here and play some football. Wait for Sam Grant to get his head straight over there. As I tweeted out earlier, I was getting ready for this by uh, listening to the soundtrack to the Civil War and repeat the soundtrack <laughs> to Hash to Khan Farewell. Did you notice, by the way, he gave Grant a beard? I think he gave him a cigar, too. As it should be. General Grant used to throw up on his bugler. As one does. <laughs> That's right, Tuna. Yeah, all his stuff is. Uh, yeah, all his stuff is hidden because, 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 because all these units have strength modifiers. Also, he has to over here. He's got to make hidden bids for his um, for his his priority points. Now, and Bishop, I'm going to tell you. Uh, that's what this is about. It's about getting people to get together and play games with friends that they otherwise wouldn't get to. I mean, I, I would love... I, I've i been very much inspired, and the, the the rules here are written by some of the guys from Little Wars TV, and if you don't, you should all go watch their stuff because it's great. Um, but they wrote some of these rules, but they've obviously got a great, great gaming community that they can hang out with on a regular basis. And none of us at the Dragoons are really all that close to each other, but because of Tabletop Simulator, we've been able to get together and do goofy stuff like this. No, the general, uh, the strengths of the the brigade strengths, which is what they are, are historical. They're built. They're based on the size of the unit. They're built. They're a relative judgment as to its um, ability in the battle, and they're also based on the uh, just whether or not they're in. For example, cavalry, even though it's a certain base size, is actually a little bit weaker because dismounted cavalry just doesn't have that big of a fire effect. The other thing is because of the way he does this terrain. I love this part, too, and I don't know if you've caught it yet, Doug. You can drive right into the trees. Yeah. The terrain doesn't clip. Right. I, I've noticed that. That is so freaking groovy. That's really useful. Let's see here. One grid square there. One grid square there. Grid square there. That seems pretty fair to me. How come you got to be in the trees that way? What's that? How come you got to be in the trees that way? You want to come out in the open and fight me? No. Nope. Okay, it's, if I can be honest with you. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to do a thing. Realizing the fatigue markers stack, I'm doing my thing. Alright, that's everybody set up on my side. Is it now? What's the first turn? 7 o'clock. But I got to clock seven. Yeah, I got to I got to set up first. Uh, yeah, just that Grant shows up at seven. Yeah, yeah, that that that's what I was checking. You are a first turn arrival, my friend. All right, my obligation. La 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 la. la. Confederate deployment. And I imagine that you get to set up that gunboat wherever you like. <clears throat> Well, in that case... I don't see why you wouldn't. 
Yeah, I'm A through D. No, that's you. That's you, not me. Where am I? Here I am. A through C, 4. So I got to go about... What are we saying? Right about... Just got to keep myself back of this, I guess. So I'm in this area here. Great. All right, lads. I can't entirely tell if I'm in a particular grid square, but... Well, you figure they're a foot across. Yeah, maybe you guys should face the right way. Skirmishers to the front, please. Thank you. Yeah, I did that too. Alright, so I'm going to have to move stuff a little bit. I changed my mind, no way. I'm going to come shoot at you. I really couldn't love these horses more. I really couldn't. Yeah, you're stupid horses. Okay. In true De Bellis Antiquitatis fashion, I am hiding my camp from you. You shall not see it. Weeds came through the weeds at the Battle of Copenhagen. Chasing one Norwegian. Alright, you. Oof. Yeah, so much for reserve moves, I guess. Yeah, this is Shiloh. There's not a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Scooch. So the bottom line is I gotta stay about I gotta stay about a foot off the baseline is what it comes down to. You know how nice it is not to have to worry about the trees? It's great. It's like geez Louise. I I, re I really do like this. I, I, I gotta get dude in on this. I, I, like, I wonder if I can hire him. 
Well, the, you know, the thing that's really interesting to me, too, is this This sort of really proves my point about 6 millimeter. Oh, you're right. You're right. Nope, nope. I thought of that. I know you have this view, and you, I, never said you, I never said you were wrong. I just said you were crazy. There's a difference. <laughs> and now that I don't have to, you know, spend all bloody day. Right. All right, you know. Pay, and by the way, that's it. We're done. We're deployed. And I think we did this in about 20 minutes with several hundred figures out on the field. So, oh, right. geez, worked up a sweat. Okay, um, I don't know if you've got anybody that has the sort of thing that I do where I've got to check. Uh, do you have, basically, do you have anybody who's unreliable? Uh, no. Okay. All, all I've got. Oh, that's right. Well, that's Sam. Yeah, that's all I've got. Yeah. That is all I got. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right. I got to check for uh, good old Leonidas. On a one, he got nothing. All right, good. He can command people today. That's nice to know. All right, so now what we do, I believe, if we take a look over here at our Altar of Freedom turn sequence, we have selected a scenario, assembled our OB, and set up the field. We will now bid priority points in secret. Those I can't bid anything, right? Correct. You're stuck. You're stuck. So I gotta just move some points. Yeah, we're place, we're but... napping. Yeah, he was having a sleep. Desperately trying not to send Leonidas to the front. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. All right. Let's make sure you do this in the right order. Yep. Okay. But I don't think that prevents you from bidding on the turn clock. But I don't know why you would want to. Because frankly, well, no, you'd want to get out of this turn quick. Now that I think yeah. about it. Now that I think about it. I don't think you're prohibited from bidding, are you? Well, if I don't have his points, I don't have his points, right? Well, but it says, what's that limit? What is that? Oh, have you decided to attach those brigades? I did. Okay, very good. I just want to make sure we did that before I forgot. Where to go? Over here. Where's that special rule? Where is it? Oh, here. Yeah, the Union player must bid zero for his division priority ratings. You, okay. You could probably take... Own, man, based on that, you could take ownership of the freaking clock. Because you could spend all your points yeah. on it. You can just, you could, you know, you're going right. to win the clock, basically. You know? e exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. I don't have a problem with that, actually. It makes a certain amount of sense. I may or may not get a whole lot of moves out of this. That handles that. Yep. So what I'm doing, for those who are paying attention and watching from home, is I now have to bid points for each one of these guys. It also matters because that's how they're going to move. So I got to make, got to be very careful how I bid this stuff. That's really interesting because if you got guys in column, you got to pay attention to that. All right. Yep. 
don't get Breckenridge till later. All right. All right, let's see how long this first turn actually goes. Let me just see if anybody has any questions before we dive in. Oh, it's uh, it's armchairdragoons.com. Good. Uh, Doug, just so you know, Hasdrubal and Red Sax are squaring off as to whether 10 millimeter or 6 millimeter are the best scale. <laughs> I think I do. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Tuna. Yeah, skirmishers are facing the wrong way. They really didn't like this idea of battle. All right. I'm good. So I'm going to stipulate that you have won the turn clock because I don't know how you would lose it. So you control the I big... I did indeed. You control the big scary die. I mean, because the only, the only question is you will, have to, you will have to write down some sort of investment. Uh, I suppose all you would need to invest is what? I suppose we should go through the exercise because you will get to do certain things at the end of the turn. You remember? Right. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll invest a few. I'll invest a few. I'm just going to check and see who can invest in that. Any general can spend up to half their points. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I'm good then. All right, just for the exercise, I have bid four. I bid five points on my turn clock. I bid 15. That's <laughs> so I can't win. Very good. So you do indeed have the turn <laughs> clock, but you have five left for Sam. There you go. That's you. And you'll turn that as we get through this stuff. So I do get, but you have zero points for priority. So my priority in this case, I would call out and I would say that I have bid four for Major General William Hardy's uh, three corps, which is over here, right here. There it is. So they're going to come forward. Now, obviously, they're going to be touching rough terrain no matter what they do. So that puts their movement at, I believe, four inches. He said hoving over here. It is usually eight. It's cut to four. That's right. So here we come. You are definitely afraid of us now. I'm being a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Look at that with those no tree problems. <laughs> Isn't it great? It is. All right, this so is I have really smartly done. I have I have hoved forward my four inches. Uh, I don't I don't think right, you're. What's the uh, what's my artillery? Ten inch, ten inch for guns. You got a shot over there, smart guy. Yeah, let's see. No. Oh. No shots. All right. So that was that was my first. Uh, now, because that was a that was a mobilized, fired, fought div, uh, activation right there. There it was. Um, we now roll a die, and you get to pick which one. So it's one d six. Great. Which one do you want, Doug? We're going to pick five. All right. So you just, you just hit a seven. You just If you actually just type a seven, it'll flip to that. There you go. All right. Well, my next is, is that was my four. 
My next is, I've got two twos, and this does allow these divisions to activate with each other. That's how that works. Um, across priorities, which is how I wanted to do it anyway. So Leonidas and Withers now move. This is Withers. They're in a road. We're not going to be stupid about this because you have cannon and stuff. Uh, That's a shooter. Yeah. Yeah. I get to finish my movies first, but that sucks. I could have actually interrupted you two inches back. You could have. Do you want to? Um, in the spirit of history, since my guys are napping, let's not do that. <laughs> since there is napping. All right. Now let me see here. I just want to read this little piece here. Continue to... Okay. Division moves. Defending units fire first. Well, that was a division moving. So that division moved. That division moved. So now you get to shoot at it. Can you see him? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The division moves. Um, Can you and see? there is is there really isn't a line of sight, right? There is. There is. Let's uh, let's go back to it and refresh because they do refer to it because there's a rise there, I suppose. Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of looking at here. I mean, now if I get right down on them. I but can I, I, see you guys. Yeah, I th I'm. I'm thinking you can seize me. I really do. But let's have a look here. It's a pretty gentle rise. Yeah, especially for artilleries. Yeah, and I, 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 you could almost argue that I'm sitting at the military crest. On the other hand, I'm actually in the sunken road. So. And what they mean by obstruction? What they mean by obstruction is another friendly unit, unless elevated well, on a hilltop. Um, and, then, and then two inches into a wood. That's all they speak well, of. Well, I, you're you're available to be fired at. I, I, I am comfortable agreeing with you, although I really hate the fact there, that you're going to shoot at me. So, I'm going to shoot at you. You have a plus there for your feller. I can't see it, but I know you will know it. And now we're gonna, we'll look over here at our modifications. You're going to roll 1d6 on a ranged fire table. You get that plus, whatever it may be. Uh, I am not in cover, and it's not too... So that's it. It's just that modifier. Yep. 1d6 All plus right. that. You tell me your number. I'll obviously know it. So that happens. And that would be the number. <laughs> so it's a 2. You couldn't hit an elephant at this no. distance. No, no it, it's not even a 2. Oh, no? It's It's a 1. Oh really? <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a one, no effect, blam. Well, we don't, all right, so he he done blammed. Very good. Um, this is I believe my next two. My next two was. I just want to make sure I'm fairly confident of this one. Yeah, you got to continue to lower bids before you get to do the. And where do we adjust that clock? Yep. So we're stuck on twos. Right. I get it. So we were on four, then now we're on twos, and right. I moved withers, I think. Moved one. Yeah, you moved withers. And now I moved Cheatham, who should be. Yep, there he is. That's where I wanted him to be. Thank you. All right, you silly git. Where are you? <laughs> well, sooner or later, I gotta shoot you. Hi. Yeah, go ahead, do that thing. Uh, is that the whole division? Is it? Oh, no, it's not. Have a sec. The matter with me. Yeah, it is. That's Clark's division back there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and we're just moving divisions. So, okay, we're shooting. Same deal. Same deal. 
Oh, what's that come to? That's a big. That's six. That guy's got a zero. So six target recoils two base depths. Run so, away! Yeah, he didn't like that none. Which, as I said before, is um, two and a half inches. Can I get all the way back? No, I can't. I'll displace yep. this gun. Hey, hey, I need to come here. Hey. All right, that's the end of the twos. Let's have another roll for uh, the game clock. We do it at the end of every, every division every, move? E no, every time you go down to the next bid number. Okay. So I'm All done right. with my, my twos are done. Well, I'll take the six. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Which puts us at one. Yep. So I get one more turn anyway. And I was moving my ones. Take that. Uh, let's see here. Ruggles Division of Bragg's Corps. Guess what he's going to do? Guess what he's going to do? Those are my ones. So here's a question that I just, well, we're looking right at firing, so that's good. I was just curious, I assume Oh, interesting. So it's triggered by the maneuver. That's interesting. Fire is triggered by the maneuvering division. So I maneuvered nobody. I maneuvered nobody. You can shoot at, so you can't shoot at them. I was just wondering right, if right. these guys will get to right. shoot again. So okay, cool. No, that that was yeah. That was how I understood it. If if you saw somebody, if there was somebody maneuvering out there and they were in your range, then okay. But these guys you don't just it. get the fire, basically. Right. right. All right, I think that's it. Pretty sure. That's I think right. that's it. So now uh, we get this. That'd be the end of the turn anyway, because right. there's only one. Right. No matter what. Turn clock was down to one. Right. So when the turn ends, uh, we can move generals. We get a free facing adjustment. We can spend any saved priority points. Rally broken brigades and recover fatigue. So, so when do we reinforcements come on? They come in at the end of the turn. All right, well. So who are you looking for? Grant. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Hi. He says hi. He says, what you guys been up to? Hey. Hey, boys. The, uh, All right. I think that's it. I got no generals I want to move. I got no free facing. I think I do want to spend... Do I? Do I really? No, I didn't keep enough points. I did not keep enough points to do that. I was thinking about pushing Hardy's boys up a little farther, but they only moved two inches anyway. All right, that's it. That's turn two. That's turn one, I should say. Boop. So we're now on turn two. Okay, I've got five points. Okay, what you here at the end of the turn? What you gonna do? Um, so I can spend every, uh, I can spend a point and I can move a brigade, right? Mm -hmm. Six inches, and, or two, six or two inches, depending if you're in terrain or not. Okay, so these guys are in terrain. So 
that was a point. <laughs> and again it's got to be a, a guy that's within six inches and in his line of or 12 inches and in his line of sight for this oh from my general yeah yeah well that's questionable then yeah he's only got two inches that's into the LOS is only two inches into the trees, so. So, well, he's not within range anyway. Yeah, yeah. So none of those five points are any good. I can't do anything with him. All right. All right. So, okay. Turn two. What do we do in turn two? We start out a turn. We bid points. Back to our point bidding. Wait, first I have to check and see if Leonidas takes a nap. Nope. All right. Bid some points. Hooray. Do you check that before you bid points? I would have to because if 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 I roll a, a, a if I roll a one, I get no priority points. Oh yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I keep I forget that your points are coming from mostly from your core commander. Correct. Correct. All right. Now I see why it's a real risk to have too many ones floating around. Sort of showing the folks at home how I'm doing my bidding. I am all set and ready when you are. All right, almost there. Mm -hmm. Well, I think to to Brant's question about you know what do you do differently, the the fact is 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 that you got to you know Doug as he does historically has a has a, both a good and a bad position. It's good because he's got his flanks anchored. It's bad because he's got this bloody river behind him that he can't cross. So if I can push him back, and that's an if, he can have trouble. But And as you can see, he's got a nice central position going for himself. All right. <clears throat> You ready to go? I uh, am ready to rock and roll. All right. How many points you bid for the turn clock? Four. 
I also bid four. <laughs> Very good. Plus four to our 1d6 roll. Yes. Oh, give me this. I'm not going to do any nasty things to me. All right, so we call out, what is your highest bid unit? Mine is a five. Mine is a four. All right, so I will move Major General William Hardy's three core again. Okay. Let's go ahead and interrupt. Right there? Right there. All right, I'm at 3.9, so I might as well just claim it. I'm going to... All you, right. You want me to back up? I will. I just no, no, remember, no. We remember what my fraction that's is. That's fine. Because that's it. That's, that's as far as I can go. All right. Uh, let me uh, see if... So I... I'll wait, then. I, 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 well, now it's when I can fire, right? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. No way. Get up. Oh, shut it. <laughs> no, come on. Come on. Did I get you? It's basically closest to closest as far as I can figure. Uh, you're close enough. Okay. So we get to it's, shoot. I'm right? measuring. Yeah, it's we'll, like 9.9. .9. We'll shoot at each other. But you get to go first. You're first. All right. So. Shoot right over here at Claiborne's I'm voice. Fire ta yeah, Taylor is firing at Claiborne. All right. That's a 1d6 plus your uh, your modifier. Total Five. of. Ooh. Total of. Five. Five, two base depths. As you correctly say, run away. What is your modifier? I shoot back at you. And by the way, you do have an obligation to shoot at the nearest. But I figured you knew that. Yeah, it makes sense. So we'll go there. So over to Peabody. Shoop shoots at Peabody. Ooh. And that is two base steps at a six. <clears throat> it's got to be two inches into the woods, right, for it to be rough or to be undercover? Uh, yeah. Line of sight extends into the woods two inches. Okay. But if he's right. in the woods, that's rough ground, right? Right, but it's still, it's still. Oh, I see what you're saying. It, this is irrespective. So it's of minus. It's not. It, there's. I don't believe there's a minus. But let us look. Let us look. Yeah, yeah, there is. Target in cover or rough ground. Oh, is a negative one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I apologize. Yeah, no, no. That's absolutely. In doesn't cover. doesn't matter though. It's still two base steps. I see. I I was answering the wrong question. Sorry. You are certainly not a problem. In, you are certainly in the trees. All right. Blam, blam. I believe that was all of... Yeah, that was my five. We then... Yes, now we must dice for the turn... Because you don't, you didn't have any fives, correct? Correct. I have no fives. All right, so we roll a one d six. I roll a one. I will take that one. <coughs> I believe you said you had a four. I do indeed have a four. Do that, you have a four? I do not. It's you. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to move Sherman's division. Dark-hearted bastard that he is. And we're going to move. So if they're in the clear, they have, what, eight? Eight. A field clear or rough? A field is clear. The only thing that's rough here is trees and streams. 
And as we discussed before, both the rivers are unpassable except at bridges. And we can pass through other units. We certainly may. All right, there's my four. All right, obviously no shooties there, so we uh, roll a dice to see what the turn clock decrement is. You got another one from me. Hurrah. All right, you got any threes? In fact... I have two threes. Well, I have a three also, and my three gets to go first. I may regret that. <laughs> yep, Withers Division will now go. Yeah, enough of this. Knees bent running about advancing behavior. Oh! Oh, I will shoot upon you. You'll shoot me there? All right, does yeah, that give you why not? As you wish. Uh, am I... Why the heck I, wouldn't Yeah, I? I think I've pretty much just cleared them trees, haven't I? I think you'd have to say so. Yep. All right. All right. You, uh... Shootification. You made four. Your, four. Was that, what's that do? What did that do right there? Four. It's a straight up four. Which is two so, bases. Go well, back two base widths. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. And that means he is done. I may move him no farther. Further farther. Uh, okay. Can I keep shooting, or am I done shooting? You're done because shooting. I shot once. You, you, okay. You, yeah, you've interrupted and are done. That's right. it, because then you'd be heading into regular shootification. Right. One opportunity fire per. Yeah, well, it's, it's you either get phase, op fire basically. or regular fire. Is what right. it is. Okay. All right. Obviously, I have enough room to do that. I get it. I get it. It's just like actual soldier tactics. Soldier things. It's like real soldier things, except with Minecraft. And I don't mind. It's really interesting how, from at just a little bit of difference, a distance, you really don't notice the voxel nature of it. No, no it's come on. It's your ultimate point about about six uh -huh. millimeter, right? I mean, it just it, your eye does what it does. It's all the move in the world. Then we yeah, get, I, I mean this looks really, really good. And when you get down into, and when you get down to the ground level, you start taking some. Nice yeah, all right. I mean you you notice it, but well, I'm even saying though is that when you get a sweeping it, cut at a nice low angle, and you get the mist in there, and, yeah, I know it's really nice. <laughs> it's it's certainly better than anything I was ever able to achieve on a tabletop. I won't lie. Yeah. All right, I want to snug that gun up. Come on, you got plenty of move. Get up there. I mean, it, it's a little, you know, creepy. I'm standing here in the sunken road, and there's all these rebs milling around out there. I can <laughs> see them. Coming out of the trees. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, you jerks. Uh, that was my three, so it's my understanding you got some threes, so why don't you move them? I do. I do have some threes. And one of those threes... There is no limbering or unlimbering. There is all the pre-measurement you would ever care to do, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, we're we're this this game is about this game is built for speed, no doubt about it. Yeah, no question. The only thing that would ever make okay. you, uh, turn the position is if he ever or I ever silence one of his guns, which is causing it to retreat. In addition to retreating, it has to turn around, and then it has to it can't fire until. Uh, until he actually has a chance to maneuver it, which is what he's doing right now. He is maneuvering. I'm going to go my two inches through the woods here. Mm -hmm. 
Right, like so. And then I'm going to go my two inches through the woods here. So, spinny, spinny. Like that. Not that. Um. Right, so that was that division, or yeah, that was that mm -hmm. division. Yep, yep. Uh, unless... We can move artillery, right? Oh, sure. I think they've got the same as infantry, actually. Movement is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, six. Infantry is eight. Okay. Artillery is six. Obviously, two, right. well, two... Well, it's two if you're in the rough. I don't know if you were. Chuggy, chuggy, and then I hit here. Mm -hmm. You gotta... I'm seeing you at 2.8, so you're gonna have to pull back. She can't go that far. Cause you're definitely in trees by the time you get up there. Yeah, when I hit that, I am. Yeah. But this is all clear. Yeah, as long as you stop there. There uh, you go. Or I could do this. You sure can. Oh, yes, you can. And do that. Yep. That's... About, I don't like it. About that? But it's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. And I bet you're going to want to shoot that stupid gun, stupid. Well, funnily enough... Yeah. You want to shoot at him? Yeah. Go ahead. We'll go, go ahead, ahead and do it. Shoot, shoot go it. ahead, do it. Shoot at Jackson there. Yeah, go ahead, do it. See what I care. Well, he ain't going to do anything, but he did it. Mm -hmm. is, that a, is that a nothing? That's a nothing. All right. Pew! They, couldn't hit, they couldn't hit an elephant. Nope. He ain't got nothing done there. All right, so that's uh, one three, and I got another three. I got Prentice's boys. And the thing about Prentice's boys is what they got two batteries. Do they? What if I disapprove? That's too far away. By, by a hair. All right, so Peabody, who you drove back, I did. says enough of that and moves right back up. Squeaky, squeaky. And Taylor's artillery is going to fire on Hindman. What if I don't want you to? All right, here we go. Firing on Hindman. Do your own. Ah, and nothing. All right. And that's all for Prentice and my threes. That was your threes. All right, let's have a die roll. Have that one again. Thank you. The longest turn in the history of turns. No kidding. See, and I got ah, I was gambling that I wouldn't get down to my my ones, and I well anyway. You got any twos? I don't. I got two twos. Do, do uh, ruggles. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I should not have moved them. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's I got to pay attention to that. That's the division right there. Should not have moved this guy. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. You couldn't have shot at yeah. him. Yeah. And and he would have done this anyway. So that's fine. No, it's not fine. But right. It, it is what it is. All right, so the other two that I have is Cheatham. Now this is a pretty puzzle. Yeah, nice gun you got there. Funny how it just showed up there. Uh, just as if by magic. 
Oh, hey. Yeah? How about you take a face full of gun right there? What? No, but see, I want to, uh, if I go back here, will you say no? See, this is a nope. church. You have no respect. I know. You have no, no I respect. Don't. Something I don't. wrong with I don't. you. Profoundly wrong with you. All right, I got 3.2 in. I got a little bit left, but go ahead. All right, here we go. And this is where these things should probably come in, just because we're tracking who shot and who didn't. Yeah. Anyway, he's yep. shooting. Go ahead. Bang. <laughs> and does nothing. Does nothing. All right. So here's a 3.2. He's got 4.8 left. I don't need that much, really. Because, 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 because. Cross, 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 cross. Oh, that is going to be it, isn't it? Duck on it. Trees suck. <laughs> and such is Shiloh. Yeah, no kidding. Amen. Fair enough. No objection to that. All right, those are my twos. These fellas here and those fellas there that you shoot it at. Eh, rolly, rolly. Rolly, rolly. I have a four. Three. I'll take that three. Uh, I got a one. You got a one? I got two ones. All right. I'll do my one first. It won't take much. Or will it? Well, no matter what I do. No matter what I do. That's it. You're up. All right. Uh, so yeah, this game doesn't ones. wait around much, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It it really doesn't. Did I mention they've got a book? That... Which is not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, especially for something like Saturday Night Five. Oh yeah, it's absolutely civil. It's are you kidding? Of course, it's Civil War Minecraft, Brent. That's exactly what this is. You can look. Check it out. Check even the horses. Little voxel ponies. Yep. Dig it. So, uh, it's two inches for fire, right? Uh, yes. For gunfire, small yep. arms. Everything, ex yeah, yeah. Yep. Which is really extended, because that's 300 yards. Yep. It's skirmisher fire. And they have exactly, um, they, they say exactly that, which is why it has the limited effect yep. that it does. Right. Uh, so, yeah, my, my one... My mm -hmm. various ones mm -hmm. aren't really going to do much of anything. Smoke them if they got um, them. Oh, I could have moved Grant. When do I get to move Grant? Grant moves at the end of the turn for sure. He gets one. He gets two moves. He moved. That's right. He. It seems to me he gets to move twice because he's not attached to anybody. You know, my right. generals are moving because they're attached. My answer is, you can move him twice. I don't care. That's fair. You can you you would move him now anytime you like. It seems to me. Yeah. You just gotta remember he's what get. What's his move? Twelve. So he's got eight because he unless you're gonna move him on this road because he doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna move him on the road. Yeah. So I mean, I'll move him on the road. So. It's coming from there. Yeah, so there's five yeah. point five so call it six. Yeah. And then call it six. Mm -hmm. So he's right there. He's there's one move along the road. There you go. I'm just showing the people at home that Sam has a mustache and beard. And I think they I He think, does. I think my guy gave him a cigar, I'm not quite sure. He's got he's got uh field glasses. He oh, doesn't that, seem that to have was, a cigar. Okay. I'm wondering about this little. I'm wondering about this little piece of white. To the to the. Oh, to, like, like, yeah, I don't know what those are either. I, I was just thinking it might be, but anyway. 
Uh, you know what? Those maybe are the mounts for the um, other horses he don't have because you got three horses. Yep. True. If you look, those are the mounting points for the other two horses. Got it. Yep. Ooh, and that's a nice camera angle as we march through the trees. Isn't it? That's so much fun. It's pretty interesting. Picture. Okay, so the two ones that I have mm -hmm. have nothing, literally nothing to do. All right, they'll hang out there. And that takes us to, do you have anybody with zero? Well, zero can't maneuver, so that takes us to zero, which ends the turn. Very right. good. Or that ends this phase. Uh, da, 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 end turn, yeah, that is... Again, facing adjustments. Uh, you get another move for Sam. All right. Well, I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And I did save... Not one, not two, but three priority points. To, I saved more than that. Did you? To uh, Well, we, we take turns moving a brigade each. And you start. And I start, exactly. Good control of the clock. Exactly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, because you're a jerk this way, i gotta, I got to fix this nonsense that you did. It would have been six inches, and now it's only two. Come on. Come on. That's one. Eh? Your turn. We get to Ready. take turns each. I am going to. I is in the right distance. Mm -hmm. So he gets to move four. Puts him here where he can be in the sunken road. Mm -hmm. oh. and yeah, so that was one point yeah, you now, get to move I will now spend one very good your turn to move batteries right Oh, yeah. Can't believe you couldn't. That battery there. All set. So yep. Look, which ones you move so I can show the folks? This battery. Very good. Oh, good. I'm happy to have that there. Super happy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Take that. Okay. Okay. It's good. There we go. Come on. Get off that. There we go. That's what I want. That's Spend all. That's all. a point. It's all for that's all for me. So it's all you now. Well, you're not going to be able to move him because he's too far away from Grant. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgot it. That. Yep. That's correct. All right. This guy though over here is close enough. Mm -hmm. So I'll give him his two through the woods. Mm -hmm. That gives me one left. I'm going to spend on Tuttle. Mm -hmm. And his two inches. Right. 
right there. Cool. There we go. And we're done. Yay. All right. I, uh, I did cheat myself because I did not bring on Breckenridge in turn one, which I could have done. It turns out he shows up at 7 a.m. Who knew? Uh, he shows up down, well, here, you go. down here at A4, which is where we are. Okay. Well, so, I'm glad I didn't get to move too far. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the crazy part of this bit is he's the one with my horses. Yeah, I remember this. I remember that Breckenridge has uh, cavalry. Well, I will confess to you. I'm curious to see. Well, I, I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Is to do it. Well, and the thing to remember about American Civil War cavalry is they're essentially all dragoons. Right. Right. Using them as a as an arme blanche is probably a bad plan. Yeah, it generally doesn't work very well. But, I mean, even in cavalry skirmishes, they tended to be mostly shooty. Bowen. Okay, you're all Breckenridge. I just wanted to make sure. Yes, you are. Holy cow, this is a big brigade, too. Or a big division, I should say. Face the guns forward. Do, do, do. Come on with the 12 inches. Man himself. Scooch. Scooch. Where do you think I'm going to put this? Alright. So now, I'm going to do a couple quick things. That's turn two. We're on turn three. All right. Let's bid up some points, shall we? Oh, first. So, uh, Leonidas, go nappies. He does not. That's good enough. All right. Yep, I'm a bidden. If I haven't said so, I'm a bidden. Okay. This is a little, this part of this is fun, <laughs> um, <laughs> figuring out, keeping track, make sure you did all the right things. And I realize I gotta put Johnston on the board. I'm getting penalized for this too, ain't I? Holy cow. Because he leads from the front. Alright. Well, I goofed that up too, so I pay the price. Down here.
I'm done. Oh, I'm going to hate this so much. Okay, um, but I have no choice because now I have other circumstances. Um, very good. On this turn, I bid two. And guess what I did? What did you bid? I bid five. Uh, yeah, that's not a dumb idea. I've, five, five, five. All right, so you got two. I got, I got two, you got five. Here I come. Oh, turn clock is yours, sir. So we call out our numbers. My highest is a six. My highest is a five. My six will go. Six plays, six plays. That's Hardy over here. The, yeah, through the woods. So four inches total. Yep. Where are you? There you are. No, no. I need you to come with me, sir. You get all the movement in the whole wide world. That's not quite true, but it... It'll pass. Boink. Really? Really? I see I see you keeping silent over there. <laughs> Yes, the defender gets fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bitter First. truth, but a truth nonetheless. So, let's go ahead and have Taylor's artillery fire on Hinman. Go for it. Take that six. Ooh, what's that come to? All day long. Uh, six. Uh, that's two bases. Where's that gun at? So it's pretty much straight back. My turn. My turn. Be my bad luck that that gun is not closest. I doubt it is. Five, basically. Yeah. So Peabody Prentice at a minus one because you're in the trees? Or is it minus two? Minus one. Minus one. It might have been that Cleburn was closer. Uh, from my gun? No, from my gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cleburn was closest. Okay. So I put him up here, and right. he scooches. I, by fractions of an inch, but... There. All right, so I gotta check my gun good. Burn a Peabody. Peabody, and again, because you all hiding, that's a minus one. Where'd my die go? There it is. Whoop. Grand total of three. Two base a depth. Tree. No, no effect. No effect. Couldn't hit an elephant. Yep. Couldn't hit an elephant. Nothing at all. All right, let's get some. Uh, let's get some markers out here. So there's no forgetting. as small as I can make those? No, it isn't. There we go. You got one? There you go. Pew, pew. All right, that was my yeah, five. Yeah, you want, want to sh you want to shrink that one, too? Sure. Sure thing. There you go. All right. So the cannons are rumbling. That was um, your six. That was my six. That takes us, I believe that was my only six, but that also takes us to turn adjudication. Roll them bones. Roll them. I'll take that five. Okay. Yeah, the clock is definitely against me. And your fives play. You're it. Uh, yep. I 
have a five. You have no five? Correct. Well, guess what? We're back down here. Prentice. Um, and because Prentice fired defensively, he can't fire offensively? Correct. I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, no, no, no. That, that deprives him of defensive fire. Is the op fire thing is let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, and that wasn't really op fire, it was defensive fire. I wasn't firing Yeah, but those two are the same. Those two okay. are, those those two are definitely the same. Because but let's let's see here. Are we in the right place yet? Nope. This is still combat. Pour the hot lead, ten inches. It's called artillery interrupt fire. Right, but I'm not doing... I wasn't yep, doing that. Yep, I believe that's true. I was actually doing defensive fire. Interesting. So page that 13. Seems to me you can shoot. It seems to me you can shoot. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say you can only shoot one time. Right. Right, so that, yeah, so it wasn't defensive fire at all, so I actually don't need the cloud of smoke on here. Right. Um, and nor do you. Right. We probably only need to track that from a interrupt fire perspective. I think so. And then it really only applies during that move, I would think. So, given the time period, yeah, uh, how a, long's each turn? It's an hour. Well, yeah, they're going to fire multiple times. Sure, right. I think that's right. Okay. So Taylor is firing offensively now. All right. And his closest target will be Hinman. Yep. But I, but I get to go first, even if you don't maneuver. Right. Correct. So I get to go here to Peabody. Same deal, minus one. Here we go. Yep. Blam. No, you just stand there and bullets whistle over yep. your head. All right, so Taylor's firing at Hinman. Yep. Five. Five. That's two. That is two. Stopping that division. Yeah, and I really, really wanted them to move. I did. I wanted it. And they don't get to. It's uh, interesting. Yeah, it's really, really tough with this artillery to actually disrupt anybody. We're not going to get a lot of fatigued results, I don't think. No, 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 no. you got to come to grips. And and again, as you pointed out, that's three, you know, with an inch, with two inches being 300 yards. Right, yeah, I mean, you're long, long range gunfire here. Uh, okay, so that was my five. Uh, unless I want to... Well, I could. Could, I could, I could, and there's no reason not to. Right. All right, so the Mark, Mark Graf is going to fire at Stevens. Good. Do it. Do your worst. About a six. That's two. I'm going to displace a lot of them. All right, so that's uh, my five. Was your fives? That was my five. Do you got any fours? Uh, don't we have to do a die roll? Oh, of course we do. Thank you. Yes. I'll take my two. Yeah, this clock really is not on my side, is it? All right. Um, you got any fours? I have I have a four. Okay, then you go. I got none. Okay. Um. So yeah, fours over here is 
uh, W.H. Wallace, who thinks that discretion may now be the better part of valor. <laughs> So, about that yeah how about it how about that oh mercy and it, yeah I'm going to fire on your horses mm -hmm. Cavender's artillery is going to fire on your cavalry go for it and a six yeah, that's going to require quite a little move We certainly can't displace all the way back. He owes two and a half inches of movement, essentially. Right. And he's got to stay in that rear space. Right. There's that, you know, he can't go veering wildly to avoid. I, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, what's he doing? Is he Is he breaking? Is he... I mean, that's pretty... Is this it right here? Nope. I mean... Recoil arc. I, su I, I, I suppose they may really not like to have gotten shot at that much that they decide to get the hell out of Dodge. Um, now, uh, I mean, that's the arc right there, so... Right. I, mean, it's very I think they just have to... Yeah, oh, they, they have to move back. Oh, it's more generous than I thought. It's actually like this. It's yeah, corner, corner. it's more like that. So I, I'd say they just move right back yeah. here adjacent. Yep. Yeah. They just got to get out of there. Yeah, they just got to get out of there. I think that's fair enough. All right. They buggered off. I mean, break, breaking the brigade over that seems... And, and, the, and the thing of it is, too... And it's occurring to me now. Now, it this may be occurring to me three turns too late, but given that I've only got 11 turns to get here... Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's not a small matter to have a guy pushed back a whole move. Right. All right. Very good. Blam. Well done. Okay. And I'm going to move the USS Tyler up. <laughs> that's right. You can move them... Because I can. Any time. You can move them any time. Four inches. Right. Here it comes. Look, look, check it out. It's a gunboat, kids. <laughs> woo woo! All God's children got guns. Here we go. Here we are. It kind of <laughs> looks like uh, something out of Battlestar Galactica. It does, but it's, it's got paddle wheels. I'm saying it counts. It's got paddle wheels. I mean, nice, simple, nice, simple little gunboat. And, it, and that may be an accurate portrayal of what that gunboat looked like. I no, can't really remember. No idea. I'm going to look it up, though. Now I'm going to look it up. All right, so that was your fours? All right. That was my fours. All right. Shall we roll them? God, this looks cool. Oy. I'll That's, take that five. Yeah, the shock and surprise. Of, oh! Oh! Are you telling me the turn yeah. is over? You yeah. are telling me the turn is over. Oh, son I, I am. of... You are a, not I, a good human. I, oh. I, am, I am telling you you're done. Oh, son of a gun. Wow. That is harsh. I love it. I actually kind of <laughs> love it. Oh. Oh, that's so painful. But that's, that's why you want to own yeah. that turn clock, don't you? That's right. All right, all right. We got shoved back and shoved. Ow! So just so everybody understands what just happened, um, the turn clock was at five, and Doug controls it. 
I rolled a five, that takes it to zero, which means the turn is over. When the, ah, oh boy. When the turn ends, move generals, free facing adjustment, and then saved priority points. So, just save any? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I did. I did, indeed. Uh, I saved, um, uh, did I save a grand total of one, I think? So I, I'm going to move Grant first. Go with your bad self. That's true. we got to move generals. I'm going to say that given what's going on, there's his six inches. Moving through the woods. Should have moved him before, but I didn't. That's all right. No matter. Yeah, it's okay. I should have thought of it. Should have done it. Made sense to get to the first time, but not so much this time. And do I have any facing adjustments I want to make? Not really. I got a. Okay, does it count that I want to move all of these guys about six inches forward? Does that count as a facing adjustment? Jeez. <laughs> It's an extreme facing right. adjustment. Right. Well, that, that's the. It's now officially the time for extreme facing. Jeez. <laughs> Je you know what? I want. I want to play this. Um. I want to do this with South Mountain. I want to do it with Fox's Gap. Mm. There's. Right. Of course, Fox's Gap is is only a brigade on each side, so there's nothing really to do. But doing all of of South Mountain would be fun with this. He's got uh, the biggest battle he's got so far is Antietam. Antietam would be fun with this. It's up to six players too, um, and he's got what's uh, Second Corinth, Perryville. Uh, we've got Shiloh, uh, one or two other. Perryville would be fun. A Perryville would be a good time. Uh, yeah, now I've got a Civil War itch. All right, I got three. Are we done all our facing adjustments? I'm done with facing adjustments. I'm done with moving a general. I had one general. All right. To move, so. Okay, so I got three points. Okay, where's Sam at? Sam is right here. Okay, so 12 inches and LOS. And I just don't know that I've got anything that's 12 inches in LOS that I need to move with those three points. But you do get to go first. You and your filthy dog. Yeah, I don't really have anything to do. Making you run away with my artillery, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really want to get him over to one side of the battlefield, but, but such is life. Yeah, I don't have anything I want to do. All right. I got one point. There it was. Did you enjoy it? Right there. Good. That's it. All right. Reset our tables. I realize I do need to... You need to use the clickers to keep yourself straight. Yeah. And that's all right. It's all right. I'm ready. This takes us to turn four. Check it out. We are we are hauling freight now. All right, what I'm going to do is... All right, you bidding? Uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually saving these. I'm gonna do try something a little different when we're all done with this. I'm gonna do commentary videos to shorten the replay for those who wanna take a look oh, yeah. time. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, yes, now I am commencifying to bidding. Wow. Hmm. The top the top down view is very very civil war ish. I like it. I really like it. Bleaker with this would be good too. Yeah, that's that's what I told him to bid for. <laughs> I gave him yeah. orders. I gave him orders. No, I groveled. I said, "Come on, you want to do it?" And he, no, he's uh, he's doing a good job. Looking forward to it. But 
I wanna. All right. Where did I put Fuzzy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted. I'm ready. When you are. Check messages real quick. Oh, no, nobody. Seven viewers watching the Shiloh. Okay, I'm ready. All right. What'd you bid for the turn, Marker? Five. Four. <laughs> plus four, plus five. Come on. I need this. You're not helping. Oh, you jerk. All right. All you. Mike. Mike, give it. Give it, give it, give it. My highest bid is a five. My highest bid is a five. You may go. Yeah. I want this system for Napoleonics too, by the way. I, I do, yeah. I, I'm right there with you. All right, so my highest is a five, which is Prentice. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and move this guy to there into my into the woods mm -hmm. and that's all the moving Prentice is gonna do you know if you just sit there long enough I will come there and shoot you I'm waiting for you I understand that but you gotta stop shooting me before I come and shoot you <laughs> all right. I don't see that happening I just <laughs> I gotta take bigger risks than this uh, Shoop is firing at Peabody in defensive fire. Minus one. Okay. That's a three, which is a big nothing. All right. In that case, Taylor will fire at Hinman, because Hinman wants to go back two and a half inches yeah, again. He really does. He's really sick and tired of me right now. A four. Which I think is, that is two, right? Or is that just one? It's a shot whistle with uh, two base widths. Yep. Yeah, because pretty two much. Two base depths. Two base depths. Back and forth. Back and forth. I'm, I am trying my best over here. That but poor I, brigade. This rough terrain stuff is for the birds, I'm here to tell you. Yep. All right, that was your five. And, and that's, uh, that's the five. Roll it. I'll take the three. Yeah. So we've ascertained I had no that uh, you had a six, or that we both had fives, right? Uh, yeah, I have a five. Oh, okay. and I, that's what I just did. Oh, and okay. you have a five. I have a five. So we shouldn't have rolled, but we'll just keep those rolls. That's fine. Yeah, okay, fine. we'll keep that. Yeah, because you got a five to go. Right. Yeah, you, yeah. Your five needs to go. Yep. Which is and then if there's guess, a... which is guess who? Yeah. Well, that's what I figured. Here we go. All right, just for grins. Okay, Jim, keep it straight. Four inches. Can I get there? Nope. Oh! Oh! Just, just off the edge. Nope. Okay, we'll stay in the trees too. We like trees. Not, not gonna go. Not gonna go all the way up there, huh? All not, right. Not, not unless I, not unless I can make contact. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Come on. We're not gonna have a sh no 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 no. We're not gonna have a slappy fight in the middle of the week. Oh my god! Here we come. All right, let's do. This. I really like how he's done the the mixed uniforms on the Confederates. It it again when you're up a little bit of distance, it really looks great. Yeah, it really does. It really really does. You too, Francis. And the fact that you get the nice blue bases keeps the division straight, too. Yeah, yeah. All 
Yeah, this is a real good advance. Well done. Just like the touch at West Point, huh, Yahoo? <laughs> okay. You got the you got defensive fires, I bet. Yeah, I do. Taylor's firing on Cleburne. On Cleburne in the trees? Yep, Cleburne's in yep. the trees. So he's got a minus Cleburne's one. Cleburne's in the trees, so it's minus a minus one. one. Change, yeah. And that's a nothing. Ooh, no. That's a nothing. That's that a nothing. your division's finally getting up there. Yeah, here we come. All right. Yeah, it ain't canister range. I imagine I'm shooting at Peabody, right? Uh, Yeah, that's got to be it. Closest one. Hey, get out of there. Oh, look at that. Back a up. Five. That's, that's, yeah, that's a backup. That's a, that's a two, two base. baser. Two base depths. There we go. And that's it. All right. We All already right, so adjusted. we don't have to roll. Nope, we already adjusted. I am I am moving Sam. Okay. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Sam's coming in over there, huh? You got any it's like go fish. You got any fours? <laughs> I believe I do. I do. I've got a four. Away you go. I got no fours. I got no fours. I got a four. I got a four. Um, which is Wallace right here. And I'm not going to have a move. So you got any defensive fire you want to do against Wallace? Nope. Well, I got tons I want to do. I <laughs> I don't think I got any I can do. Uh, that that cav looks to be just That's fine. One tenth of an inch too far. Is it? Yep. Alright. So no shooting. Yep, so there's no shooting. Alright, so that was your five that was your fours? That was my fours, so now we roll. Oh yeah. God, I wish I could skip this. I bet you'll take yeah. a three. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. You got any th threes? Um, oh. I do. Braxton Bragg, Withers Division. has got a three. That's these lads right here. Oh, boy. Yeah, quit, quit your goofing around, Goofy McGoofy Pants. The full move is. It's the full move of gun six, right? Uh, artillery six, yeah. yeah. I don't think he can actually do that. Oh yeah, I can. There. Thus to there. It's not quite there, but. Back it up. There you go. So he'll go. Withers, right? Yeah, Withers. Okay. And that will do it. I don't think All right, well, I now. guess we're going to do some defensive fire. Go for it. What do you got? Figure Jackson's closest. Yep, Jackson is closest. Where you go, so man? Man's gonna do it. We're on Jackson. I get trees. How about a six? I get trees. It still makes me minus bad. one to five. Still, still two base width. Yes. I got trees. He says as he retreats. <laughs> no, I'm in the trees, darn you. Well, he's probably not, actually, because he's on the road. But... Yeah. The uh, the rest of it don't matter none. He's back. Okay, you shot. Do I have a... Do I... Oh, yeah, that's right. He did come up. Does he got a shot? Yeah, he did. He came up. Oh, look at that. I think the counter battery is the thing. Yep. Looks to me. Counter battery. What does he got? 
Alright, no, I'm in the sunken road. That's a, that's in close combat, I believe. But let's find out. Oh no, 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 that's cover. That is cover. I just remember thinking that. Dude, special rules, source no. Come on now. Terrain notes. Yep. Defending the sunken road offers close a plus combat. one in close Only combat. Only close combat. Yeah. Alright, there it is. So I get to shoot at you. And I know what I got. Here we go. Pew! Ooh! Two back. Did the six. And you will turn around. You will turn around, sir. You are silenced. Little angry counter battery right there. Starting to make some inroads. All right. Yeah. I got some guys who ain't where they were before anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was my three, I think. Yep, that was my three. Okay, I don't have any threes, so... Let's do the rolling. I need good rolls here, people. Oh, you jerk. Oh, the game goes on, though. You didn't get to wipe it out. One turn left. All right, so that was threes. You got twos? I have a two. You go first. I have a two. So, so yeah, he's silenced, but he's going to turn around and come back. No, but oh, I did such a good thing. That's... <laughs> did, but, but I'm still coming back. Yeah, yeah. I'll shoot at you. You know that, right? I'm gonna right. shoot at I'm you. Shoot, I'm, I'm gonna shoot at you, too. I understand. I'm gonna shoot. Not if I hit you first. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna counter battery, is yeah, what we're gonna do. Yeah. Now, you could you could do that. You could drive him off again. I'm gonna do it. Right, it right. is true. Was yeah, that... And you go first. That's all I really want to move. I thought so. Here we go. Come on. Oh. That was going to be a six. It's a... <laughs> that was going to be a six, and it's not. You shoot back. All right. You're going to get it back. Yeah, I am. And it's going to uh, be a five. Now you silence me. I suppose it seems only fair. Go back here where you belong. All right, silenced gun. That was your two? I happen yep. to have three twos. Of course you do. Let's do Ruggles Division first. Shoop. That was Ruggles. I don't think there's any shots there, but you tell me. I don't think so, no. For I mean that was Ruggles. I can't yeah. I can't see nobody. No. Suddenly very confused. That's right, Cheatham. I need Cheatham. There he is. Stop it. I'm trying to learn from the fruit of bitter experience. <laughs> yep. Okay. That is Cheatham. Ruggles, and where's my last one? Ah, Breckenridge, that's right. Glad I get to do this at least. Let me tell you how fond I am of that gun sitting right there. 
Well, that gun sitting right there actually could fire on uh, Stevens. Where's that? I'm sorry. Over well, here. Then he probably should. I don't know why he wouldn't. Yep, Mark Graf's going to fire on, uh, on Stevens at Sheedens. Yep, yep. But he doesn't do anything. Boom, 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 boom. One hour of boom, boom for not a whole lot of hitty, hitty. The only thing I only honestly know how to do. Um, all right, here we come. somewhere. Done? Done. All right, Cavender's battery's firing at Tribu. Yep. Do it. With a five. <laughs> you win your gunboat. <laughs> Get Tribu out of there. Give me a second. He's got a long way to go. He does. We've answered like this. <laughs> no more. No complaining about artillery being too no. mobile. No, but again, it's an hour's worth of fire, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean. I'm not crossing that, am I? I'm not, because I'm not allowed to. All right. Gunboat. All right. The Tyler is going to go ahead and fire up Bowen. Because yep. I don't even have to have line of sight for you that. Don't. You sure don't. My lads are wondering where that nonsense is coming from. And it's a six. Boy. It's been incredibly difficult for the Confederates to advance. It is. It is. Like, much more so than historical. So it makes me feel like, are we doing this right? I don't know. I don't, or to be honest, am I doing this right? I'm, I'm really wondering about my decision to be in column from jump. Right. Because so, remember, a lot of my time is being taken. To, now that this is handled, now I'm here and yeah. coming. I, I don't think this is a battle where the Confederates can afford to come on in column. No, I think they have to deploy in line. Because if I were in line, out of range, I'd be. Yeah, you deploy out of. Well, you always got to deploy out of range, right? I just think I got to do it immediately. I just got to come on the board in line, because I'm still moving the same distance. That's right. That's the stupid right. of it. From my yeah, there's no, not really any benefit to being in column. Right. Well, there is, just not in this battle. Right. Right. Not in other battles. Yes. In this. In your situation here, not so much. Yep, yep, yep. All right, well, that's it. Yeah, because if you can shove into a close combat situation with the, all that Union artillery, right? I mean, I've just got a really strong defensive line at this point. Well, you do, and they did, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I'm gonna And I'm going to hit it shortly, I hope. Certainly over on my right, that's going to be the case. Yep. The left is... Okay. All right, but that's it. Um, so, uh, so that's we, it. Uh, you saved some points, did you? I did. All right. 
Uh, well, we other we do uh, the other stuff first. Right. So facing adjustments, of which I don't really see that I have too many. Yeah, I don't see any. Love to turn this gun around, but I know that's not allowed. Interestingly enough, my boy here, I, for, I keep forgetting this, Johnston has to spend uh, points. Yeah, that's right. I've got to have three, so mm -hmm. it's not the worst. Okay, so you don't have any facing adjustments. Do you I have generals to move? I'm leaving Sam. There we go. I just did. Okay, so now it's points. And you get to go first. You get to spend the yeah. Well. <clears throat> so Grant is close enough to Peabody that Peabody is going to go ahead and move back into position. Oh, here we go. And I think I can... I'm going to leave wood there. That was one. You got one now. Yep. Johnston is going to start grabbing people by the collar. He grabs that lad by the collar. He says, get up there. It's one. <laughs> yes, my troops are going to make sure I'm a battlefield casualty. Very, like as not, it's no less than I deserve. <laughs> no less than All I deserve. All right, uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't have anything else I want to move. All right, I got this one here. Turn around, you goof. And which division are you? Is withers? Yeah, that's Ruggles. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, that's it. Turn five. Earn five. Turn five. Spend some points. Ready? Yeah, give me a minute here. No worries. Give me a chance to take some pictures.
Okay. Bids are in. Are all ready to rock. I say I bid four. Well, that's funny because I bid six. You are not fooling, are you? I will take no. it from you. Take it from me anyway. Here we go. No, I'm not. Not even close. Uh, what am I gonna do? All right. What's your what's your top bid? Five. I don't even. Oh, I also have a five. All right. Well, I go first. You do. And unsurprisingly, my five is premises division. <laughs> Um, so, you get to, I'm not going to maneuver anybody, so. I could shoot. Get defensive fire. Three, five, four, oh, yeah. So, Peabody. Yep. Minus one. Oh! Oh! It was a four. Oh, four Ouch. Matter, anyway. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. You're up. All right. So, Taylor. Taylor's artillery. Yep. On Hinman. Uh, no. Three, which is nothing. Yep. Nothing at all. All right. Ne neither one of us are doing anything there. Yep. And guess, guess, guess where my five is. Yeah, well. That would make sense. <laughs> um, so long, long range fires at two inches, right? Two inches is canister. Yep. No, I mean for small arms. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Two inches. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Still too far. Three hundred yards. Well, I got to find out how this works. Let's find out, kids. How you doing? Yeah, that's not going to go well for me, I don't think. Not going to square him up? You don't. That's oh, you just move him. Yeah, yeah. You look, look at the pictures. He stays, and it's a one-to-one, yeah. -one, so there's no contact. Right. And also... On, you know, you want some canister. Well, you don't. The thing is, if I make the contact, it's a melee. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the part where you get to stop me. Uh, but not with canister. Right. You can't. You, you're going to shoot at me outside right. range. But I can shoot at you. The minute Go ahead, I move. The, move. <laughs> move. 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 Go ahead, move. No, I'm going to do this first, though. Make you make it. Hey, go ahead, move. Go ahead, move. Because remember, you only get to do it once. I know. I gotta veer a little bit. You're out of the trees. Fart! I'm still in the yeah, trees. You're right there. I'm still in the trees. No, look you're at, not. Look at the tree right, footprint. Come on. Yeah, I gotta come clear on, these trees. On. Still gonna come. Where is canister? <laughs> Right there, right there. I'm gonna fire right there. No, I'm gonna stop. Actually, I wanted to stop just outside canister range, so I can. Well, and is, you're just outside canister yeah, range. Yeah, but the point is that I can't shoot at you. Right. What do I want to do to you? Yeah, if you come any further, then you can catch some rifle fire too. You jokers. Ugh. This always ends badly in history. Uh, all right, I'm going to do this first. This is six minus four, which is two inches. I'm going into the trees. Thank you very much. Stop it. Fire. Fire. Okay. 
I, I can I can close. So I got enough to close. Uh, okay, yep. do your shooting. Okay. One roll a one. Now, if I do that, let's go back and review the rule. If I do that, yeah. Um. Can I still do my evade? Oh. I think so. It's evade, maybe. There you go. Yep, I can. As long as they're not unfalotted. Yep. Not without risk. I mean, again, if a turn is an hour, sure. You get off a shot and try to leave. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Yeah, e exactly. So. All right, here you go. Okay, so we're gonna Shoot we're gonna first. fire. This is yeah. not canister. Can't be right. A four. That's enough. That does it. Yep. Base steps. You know this dude. Yep. I'm a shooting at you. What I wanted. Oh, was really? To... Oh, yeah. Well, then he's gonna. I'm gonna get to defensive fire. Mm mm. Because you did this. See, I don't read that. Oh yeah. Well, oh, that's that's clear. That part is clear. Under really? Because yeah. I don't see that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feel the hot lead. It's right there. Artillery that conducts interrupt fire may not fire again after movement is complete. Oh okay. Got it. Yep, got it. Yep. Got it. That's why no. the smoke... That's why yep, the smoke... That happens. makes sense. I'm going to hate them. Okay. Okay. All right, you, you done? Uh, you don't think it. anybody else can move. No, I just got to figure out where I'm leaving Hardy. Just commit fuzzy. And I will. Can I fit him? Well, I've got enough room to fit him for everything. Support. All right. All right, you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Got defensive, some defensive fire here. So Peabody, Peabody, gonna fire on your, on your guns. Yeah, yeah, you sure can. One point eight inches. One point eight inches of range. Firing at me. What are the modifiers for this? Nothing. Nothing. Very good. Uh huh. Yeah, we gotta remember we got brigade strength modifiers in here now. We always, you haven't been using them? That's those pluses. Well, nobody's been firing except artillery. Oh, sure. Sure, yeah. No, no, no. Right. Yeah. So so now we've got, this is our first infantry fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Short thing. Guns get them, too, which is shocking. Oh, you All right, so there's a four. That's a backup. And it's a six. Which is still a backup. Dang it. Well, what are you going to do? Turn around, Francine. All right. My turn. All right. Now, I believe I can fire out of my 45, right? You can. Now, and I think, yeah, it's any part. Any part. Yep. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it's close enough. It is. 
Yeah, it should be. I mean, nothing's free. And he does yeah, nothing. It's a here's, three. Here's a it's a egg. three. Here's a goose egg. Lucky me. Didn't do anything. Okay. I'm going to shoot at this gun now. Okay, well, do that. Actually, I can withdraw in front from nope. fire combat too, right? Nope, me late. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I think you just skipped past it, actually. On flat? Nope. No, if there's an actual yeah, there's withdrawal, a withdrawal, maybe there's, it's, it's evade. Yeah, it's not under yeah. fire; it's under melee. Keep going. One more. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, combat. So it's not fire. Okay. So it it it's, yeah, it's got to be base. Got to be base contact. Yep. yep. I disappoint myself. This is not going to go as well as I would have hoped because you get a minus one. All that, a whole lot about nothing is what that is to be. About nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing happened. Pew, pew, pew. All right. And finally, we get a melee. Dig it. You get your plus, and I get a support because I'm risking my general. I'm going to hate myself for this. Uh, do I get a support for Peabody? Nope, nope. it's got to be contact. Oh, right, right. It's it's the DBA rule. Yep. All right. So I get a plus one. And you get a plus one, I imagine, for Woods, yeah? Uh, unengaged supporting, yeah, cover, plus one. Artillery defending gets a plus two, nice. And no fatigue. All right. So I just get my brigade strength and a plus one. So my brigade strength is a zero, and I am a plus one for that. So I'm at a total plus What's one. It? Okay, you're a plus one? Yep. Annette. I am a plus one for the cover. Okay. However, I am a minus three. Oh. So I'm a, I am a minus two. All right, plus one. Because that's my cavalry. Oh, so it is. Here we go. Well, wait, they can evade if you want them to. They can evade. Um. Yeah, I know they can. Okay. But do I want to? Let me think for a minute. Sure. Because you do you get... You don't necessarily get an advance, do I you? do. I do. If you evade? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you can't just move up. Uh, um, well, let's try. Let's try and evade. And you will go back. Yeah, do not advance to pursue and stop where the original contact was made. And you go back three base depths. So a two to a five, you succeed. Are we? We're not on our first turn, are we? What do you mean? Were you a five? Yeah. Were you a five? Yeah. Okay, so we are. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're still on the first phase here. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, there's four. So you move three base steps back. Which is... 3.75, so about 3.8. And I'm done. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, it's not the worst thing that could have happened to you. Uh, do I have to? I'm kind of okay with that. All right, so that's the end. Is that it? Is that oh, that. I did that. I did this. I did this. Shot at you to no effect. Wow. Well, for better or worse, at least I drove back the cavalry. I'm not ashamed of that. Indeed. Indeed you did. All right, so that was our five, so we got to do some die rolling. You do. Six. Great. I'll take that. Touch my... Take that six. Any fours? Um, yes. Go fish. 
Indeed, I have a four. Who might that be? I don't know that I can do much, but let's see. I can shoot at you. Yep. So it's Wallace over here. He's not going to move. Got any gunfire? Hey, Jason Pratt's here. He's actually calling from Western Tennessee to see the Shiloh fight. Nice. So what you doing over here? Uh, Wallace is not moving from yep. his and my guns handy are, dandy yeah, my guns are, here. My guns are parked back over here being very... I see that. Yeah, they're, they're being, just they're, I think chilling. The, the phrase I would use is being useless. Yeah, they're just chilling back there. Yeah. All right, well then we're going to gun at you. Yep. Atham needs some round shot in the face. But he's not going to achieve much with that. It went over his head. So that was, no. your, that was your four? Yeah. All right. Another die roll. <laughs> All right. I'll take it to you. Threes. You got threes? Do I have threes, he asks. And my answer to that would be no. I have threes. I have threes. Braxton and Cheatham are both threes. And it's actually not Braxton, is it? No, that's the, the core. It's the core. It's Cheatham and Withers. That's right. Holy cow, dude. Hmm. It's ten it's ten fifty three. Well, all right. Well, we got. We okay. have. We have crank. <laughs> yeah, we have. All right. So, since a gun is the slowest moving thing I got here, and I'm keeping these buggers in line come hell or high water, uh, guns move usually six, so minus this is two inches. Here we go. All right. And I got these clowns over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, do that's right. We shooting? do we do fire after each division, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Very good. Sorry. So yeah. Yeah. Got, so yeah. Yeah, I got firing yep. at you, you got firing at me. Go for it. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. So, man, I'm going to fire at Jackson's Brigade. Very good. Out of six. Oh, get out of there. I'll get it done. Get out of there. We just sorted things out. You are such a jerk. <laughs> Over at the guns. Yep. Boom. Silence. Well, that means I'm I'm leaving. Silence the guns. I'll around. be leaving. All right. It was Cheatham and Withers. That's it. Where's Cheatham? That's what I thought. Very good. All right, now we're going to move Cheatham. gonna shoot at you then do so who's closest it looks like it's six in one half dozen in the other actually it's i think it's just closest point to closest point. or a yeah it's for it's uh stevens okay 
Stevens is closest. Do it. Do it. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Pew pew. All right. Time to roll for more divisions because I think you told me you had no threes. What's the time clock at? Uh, that's cr- that's correct. I have no threes. You have to work a minor miracle to keep this thing going. Come on. Good lord. Well, no. Turn over. It's, it turns over. <laughs> Any way you slice it, turns over. I'm just curious to see if that means... I forgot to check if that means that we're done done. Good question. Or do we? Or is this the last phase? I forgot to check that. Recover fatigue. Replace fallen down. Look, it says when it gets down to zero, it's Manipul- over. I think I remember that. It's right here. The turn and, clock and, and expires ends immediately. Ends yeah. immediately in bold. Look at that. You are done. You are done. All right, so facings and moving of generals. Any moving of general I want to do? Yep. I don't side. really have any generals to move. General I want to move. A change of facing just for grins. Turn this gun around. Wait, I can't do that. Um, I can. Nope. Can't do that. And I got no generals to move. No facings really to screw with. Ready? Yeah, let's points? spend some points. I got some. I, I, I got, got I gotta got have one. Some. Yeah, you got three. I right. got one. All right. You but you get to go first. You're a clock. Yep. All right. So Grant is gonna grab Hildebrand's brigade here. And order them two inches like so. the woods excellent and that was my point i got three johnston's over here yelling and screaming and pitching a fuss one (coughs) two as well use it, I guess. Three. That's what I got. Three points. All right. All righty. So did you, uh, you say it was time for you to turn into a pumpkin here on turn six? Yeah, it, it, it's 11, man. I can't believe it. We've, we went fast. This oh, yeah. Fast. Well, I will say we have just crossed the halfway point. Right, which is pretty darn good. We should think about it. Yeah. So we got another game here that we really like. So I like it. I like, I'm saying. I love I, it. I, I yeah. like, I, I think Ultra Freedom is a terrific game. Um, now I'm excited to see what else we can do with things like uh, Antietam and stuff like that and try to get some big multiplayer mm-hmm. games going. Let me get one final screenshot out here. But in case anybody is wondering, and in case anybody was following along, it is going to be our goal to try and uh, get back to Trafalgar next week, if everybody can make it. Again, the reason we didn't do Trafalgar this week is that enough of the players who started uh, weren't able to come back. And I wanted to give them one chance to try to come back. And uh, But I definitely want to wrap that one up, because I thought the fight was coming along real well. But uh, considering the fact that we probably spent, what, about 45 minutes learning the rules... 
Yeah, I mean, we can finish this easily in one more play. Absolutely. So, well, yeah. If, uh, well, honestly, <laughs> if I don't get off the dime pretty quick, um, just looking at the situation overall, yeah, I've, I've, I put a little bop on you over here by running uh, Ingersoll's boys back. But uh, other than that, I don't know. Other than that. Yeah, it's it's a tough situation. Though, you know, finally the Rebs are starting to mass for an attack. Yeah, they're, they're, so. they're and, and again, it really, it's just very clear to me now that the Rebels have to start as far forward as the, the game allows them and just come at the yeah. come at the union in line there is no point in spending a second in column yeah you've you've got to get the early assaults in because and just looking at this distance right here oh that's so gross <laughs> <laughs> i mean well right here anyway yeah i'm in charge yeah. range i'm in charge range there no i'm not no i'm not it's 4 inches it's half cuz this is rough right <clears throat> Well, there's no easy right. there's no easy choices either, right? And it's not supposed to be, not supposed to be. Well, before. well, and, and it's the American Civil War. It ain't easy. No, 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 no. Although, although again, uh, something else I hadn't anticipated, and I like, I, I real, I knew I would like the turn clock, and I do. But the one thing I did not realize is that bidding a one is just about as good as bidding a zero. Unless you control the time right. clock, unless right. you control the time clock, because God, I seriously, I don't think. When's the last time Stewart's boys moved? Well, that's that's the thing. See, I think that particularly when you're on the attack, and given your the way your commands are broken up point wise, you have to concentrate as much. You're going to have to pick a division or two right? and throw a bunch of points at it. Right. And make and, sure they and go. Launch, <laughs> right. And launch divisional attacks, which, again, I really like because what that means is this, it, it eliminates the whole, oh, I'm going to move everything on the battlefield. Right. Right. You're going to have formations that are going to sit. And you might as well... You know, I've been, those, those guys I got down parked around Pittsburgh Landing, they've not been getting any points. Right. Right? Why, right. why bid anything? They don't need to move. They They're gotta, in reserve. They Let them sit there, there, right? Yep, yep. They gotta, and, and, they, and they can shoot no matter what. Right. So, you know, you, what you want to do is you want to, you, you, you know, you may, you may want to bid lower numbers on other divisions just to get them into a position where they can do something. But where you're going to launch your attack, that's where you got to throw most of your points. Right. And that, that's, and it's, it's, yeah, you probably you can't accurate. go, well, I'm going to, I'm going to attack all along the line. Now I'm going to pick a weak point. I'm going to pick a fair punk. I'm going to throw all my, command resources there and launch that attack and it, it's either successful or it's not if it's not i'm not going to reinforce i'm not going to reinforce failure i'm going to pick a new point so it it really forces there's a lot of interesting thought to this system and it, it somebody's thought about it it forces you to command not just go well i'm going to move everybody up in a line you know, and I also I, like I, the fact been... that, I like the fact that it's not random. Yeah, right, and it's not. It's not a chit draw. Right, or it's not. You know, in the DBA system, it's not a D six yep. roll. Right. I mean, you're you're deciding where that's going to be. You you are as the commander deciding where you're going to you know focus your attack. Even if and even if my uh, my homeboy here. Leonidas has a grand total of four points. Right, right. He still, right. he still got it. Although it's interesting, I it just clicked with me. Breckenridge is a two. Well, there you go. So 
so yeah, that's that's why they've parked. So, well, very cool. Um, let me take this back over to Armchair Dragoons. Uh, please always, for those who joined us, thanks so much. But to those couple of folks that were asking questions about where you can join in the group, uh, we are over at armchairdragoons.com in the forums. There is a special forum for our Saturday Night Fights. Uh, you can come over and check that out. But in the meanwhile, uh, thanks for coming tonight, and everybody stay safe and have a great evening. Thanks a lot, Doug, for playing. Yeah, great fun.